this is what the inside of my bathroom looks like. I actually can fit in here. So now I'm going to show you my desk, which I'm at. This side, I've got my, I love it, I'm obsessed with it. I'm breaking these really cute. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video has been really, 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 really heavily requested and that is a university room tour, dorm room tour, like my first year halls, dorm room I guess in uni. I tried really hard to make my room cute and I really like how it turned out so I'm excited to show you guys. I live in an apartment with 10 other people nine other people so there's ten of us all together we all share the kitchen but i've got my own ensuite bathroom and of course my own bedroom so without any further ado let's jump into the room tour video okay so this is my door from the corridor and this is my little key card um i did a little picture on it so yeah it was gonna say ellie but i ran out of space so i put l's and this side has a sticker on it from brandy melville i have more stickers but i lost them but yeah it's like a contactless key so I just opened it even though it was already open. So once you come in, I've got like two, it's like a little hallway, I guess. So I'll show you this bit first. So here I've got like my jackets and coats hanging up and like, yeah, just a few, few things hanging up here. I don't wanna hang too much up because it'll like compromise my space. But yeah, this is over here. And then down here I've got bin and I've got my little sheep door stop, although it's not very strong so it doesn't hold the door open. And then here I've got my radiator, which I haven't really figured out and oh my gosh, I, it's dusty. I need to sort that out. And also, down here I have a printer as well. I got a printer just in case we go like into lockdown or if I have to isolate and I can't print. So that's why I've got a printer. It's probably not 100% necessary, but I thought it was necessary. Okay, so then here I've got my bags hanging up. I only brought two little bags, which is quite good going for me, because normally I would overpack and take like 30. But I've got my little sparkly bag and my YSL bag, and they're hanging on this love heart hangy thing. It's like an over the door hook, and I also have one on the other side, so I will show you my bathroom now. So this is what the inside of my bathroom looks like. I actually have a pretty big shower. It's like a double shower, which is really lucky because normally student accommodation showers are tiny and like gross but this is new oh and also the building that I'm staying in literally like opened the day that I came in or like the day before so it's a brand new building brand new build and that makes me happy so here I've got one of my towels I've got lots of towels but they all say my name on them if you saw my uni haul or my birthday haul then you would have already seen that I use that one as a hand towel then here we have the little like sink area so I've got my toothbrush here in a little marble toothbrush holder then this is my little soap dish with my little sparkly really cool hand soaps in them in my little box here with the flowers on it I've got my little face washy flannels and I've also got like makeup remover pads for when I've taken off my makeup up here I've got some coconut oil because coconut oil is so good for your hair and your skin and literally everything it's a miracle then I've got this pink sands yankee candle diffuser we're actually not allowed candles in student accommodation so that is why I've got that and then here I've got like hand soap that's like squeezy soap um yeah, I guess there's options for soap. And if I come down here as well to the little sink, then I've got this, which is like a, I'm using it for like ladies thing. And then I've also got my toothpaste down here at the little sink. And this is the toilet. It's just a normal toilet, but I'm not gonna show you because that's really weird and gross. As I said, my shower's actually quite big. Like it's pretty spacious. I don't have like a holder thing in my shower for my stuff that goes in the shower. So it's just on the floor at the minute. Like here, I've got my shampoos. Oh no. My shampoo, conditioner, and my razor and stuff just at the bottom of the floor, but that doesn't really bother me because I always sit down in the shower. And then this is definitely a really bad angle. But down here, I've got my bin, like my bloop bloop bathroom bin, my toilet roll on a toilet roll holder, and then I've got this little, like, washing caddy thing. And I've also got, like, Dettol, and this side is my loo brush, and I've also got some wipes there. And on my bathroom door here, I've got three more towels. This is my fake tan towel because it's dark and then I've got my pink towels and then I've got rose gold little parts at the top and there's an over the door hanger which are so useful and handy. I also forgot to mention but my door has a little peephole which I think is really cool because whenever I can hear people in the corridor I spy on them. If you're in my flat I spy on you. Look here's my peephole. The best of you from my peephole. Anyway so now we can run to the next bit of my room so we've got a pretty much full length mirror like it's a big mirror and it has a light above it. I don't know if you can see but it has a light and there's 
also that light on my ceiling, so I've got two lights. And then here I've got some shelves. So these are like behind my bed, but I'll show you them briefly now. My room is very much tiny. It's literally so small, but the storage is really good. So I guess that makes it better. So here I've got a bag, which is kind of just on display, even though it's dirty. And then this is my like hair caddy. I think this was such a good idea by me, obviously. So like all of my hair stuff is in here. So if I want to curl my hair or anything like that, I just take the whole caddy out. I've got everything I need and then I can just pop it back in. There's a top one here, but all it has is print paper. Print paper's up there so I can barely reach it, so I don't want to have to put something up there that I have to keep getting down. And I can't see it because it's so high up, so who cares? So then we have this little, like, big, <laughs> little big caddy. And in here, this is my washing up bin. So I've got my washing in there. It's really handy how that's a perfect fit. That was not planned, but I'm so glad it is. This actually goes quite deep, like far back behind my bed. And there's loads of stuff in there and I could fit in there as well. Like I actually can fit in here. Oh my, this is kind of nice to be honest. That is such a good hiding spot for hide and see. So now I'm gonna show you my desk, which I'm actually sitting on right now to show you. I have this like marble cover. So this is a pin board because we're not allowed to stick anything to the walls. We can do whatever we want with our pin boards. So I have a pin board and I still this like marble stuff on it which I think is really cute and then all over here I've got loads and loads of photos and they actually have little lights on them um, so when it's dark the little lights are like really cute and this bit's just plain but I like it because I want to be able to see the marble a bit on my actual desk bit here first off I have this which is actually a soap dispenser but I use it for hand sanitizer so whenever I come in my room it's just there with hand sanitizer in it and yeah it looks cute it doesn't ruin the display like some hand sanitizer would and then here I've got a little pot of just like my work stuff like school pens highlighters and stuff and this is one of my glasses it's a rose gold turbulent and then I've got my weekly planner on on the desk and then obviously my mirror which is quite big so here's my mirror it's light up i'm really obsessed with it it's like hollywood style but it's little i think it's really cute and then in the little compartments i just have some bits and bobs so i've got some like good look cards this one's from my mum and this one's like from the university and then i've got my little cactus that megan got me with an e on it um in the middle bit i've just got my glasses at the minute and then this side i've got my airpods and my jewelry box and then actually on my desk i've got two macbooks i know you probably think it's weird that i've got two macbooks but like i got this one when i did my like diploma so like a levels except i didn't do a levels but my a levels like so i basically got this to do all my school work on so it's literally just for like school work presentations writing like classes stuff like that and then this is my editing computer which is like fat and beefy and i've had it for like six years or maybe more and i literally refuse to edit and it is also my favorite thing in the world as you can see i've also got these like hubby things up here i don't know how we can see them oh also the mirror does turn off so yeah but sometimes i like it on is what it is. So up here in the cubbies, this one's kind of like a memory kind of vibe. So I've got another good look card just from my nana and granddad, my nana and Gookie. And then I've got my macro wall thing, uh, which Megan got me for my birthday, and I'm obsessed with it. And then I've also got this book that I got for Christmas, which is like a photo book, um, but it's got like loads of really cute photos in it. So yeah, it's literally like cute memories and I feel like taking photos to me is so important because it's like all the lens. And then I've got this this and it's actually for a voice lesson with like I don't actually know but obviously I've got that <laughs> and then in this one I've got all of my like school stuff I mean like uni class stuff but like my work stuff so I've got folders binders notebooks normal books and of course I've got this little diffuser thingy again because we're not allowed candles which is really sad so then over here I've got First off, this little thing, which one of my friends from uni actually like told me she made one of these, so I made one, and I think it's so clever to tell you like what's urgent, what's semi, like organize your work and when you need to do it. So helpful. Then I have a picture of me and Megan in a cute little rose gold frame. I have my water bottle, which is also rose gold with an E on it, and then also I have my makeup brushes in this cute little Ikea pot. And also, if you couldn't already tell, I have a little desk chair. It's really cute because it's spinning. I've got like seat cushions on it. It's actually already cushioned, so that's really good, but it's so comfy. And then I've got a pillow for like sitting on. Literally all of my lectures are online at the minute because of Miss Rona. So this is super, super helpful. And it's comfy and it's also just like fun. Um, and I also have a bin under there. I'm not going to show you because it's overflowing and that's super gross and makes me look messy, but I'll take it out soon. <laughs> I also have three drawers on the desk. I almost forgot to show you for a second, but the top one is like makeup stuff. They've got like loads of makeup and it's all really organized in these little acrylic 
like acrylic pop thingies. I don't really know what they are, but they're like super good for keeping it organized. I'm kind of obsessed with like acrylic because even if it moves around, then it doesn't really get messy. It like stays neat all the time, and I'm obsessed with that. And my lights just went off. <laughs> Brilliant. Then the second drawer is an absolute cookbookful mix of things from cotton books to deodorant to snacks to stationery. It's a whole mess. Like, I've literally got like, yeah, and I've also got like chocolate. Like, it's crazy. Ignore that drawer, really. And then the bottom drawer probably isn't really being put to that good use. I do use it to organize electronic things like batteries and also my chargers and then i've just got like big bags for when i go shopping and um, bag for life vibes so that is what is in there and now i will show you my wardrobe so over here this is my blind and i have a full length window i'll show you really quickly yeah it's a huge window and my view is of an opposite apartment so it's not really exciting for you um but here is my wardrobe it's fairly neat i've managed to keep it fairly neat i've been here for like two weeks so i'm surprised it's not more of a mess but i've basically got like shorts and stuff some tops hanging up dresses behind here and then up here these are like all my socks and like pants and stuff that are all in little boxes i also have my like, jeans and stuff at the back which i just get them down when i need them down here i've got all my shoes and i've also got like leggings and shorts like this is my little shorts box but yeah it's pretty cute to be honest. there's also two at the top which i can't really reach very well so like i can't put anything at the back or anything but first off i've got my little galaxy nightlight because i'm actually quite scared of the dark so i put this in before i go to sleep it's really cute and then in the other one is my toaster um i keep my toaster in my room because i can't share my toaster because i'm allergic to things and i'm just scared someone will like put in like a different kind of bread that i'm allergic to and then i will and then i'll like die and i don't want to die in you that's so stupid so yeah <laughs> um and now i will show you my bed but more specifically i have a lot of storage underneath my bed i brought with me so many storage boxes which i like pre-planned and packed and i think that was a genius thing so if i lift this up literally all under here i've got storage boxes so i've got a black one first off the storage boxes aren't the neatest they're kind of hard to keep neat but they're not too bad so here are all my tops and basically all the ones that can be folded without getting creased this box is my pajamas this one here is shoes it's mainly like shoes that i don't really wear so i've got like character shoes i've got jazz shoes i've got like nude character shoes and also i have cheerleading shoes in there i don't have a gymnastics leotard you know just in case i need it then in this one i've got random bits and bobs not clothes which is kind of weird because i put it with all my clothes kind of but yeah so i've got like my clothes wash and like really random things honestly like i've got some spare photos spare fairy lights the whole shebang to be honest this one has joggers in it normally has more in but i've got one pair in the wash and i'm wearing one pair and then finally the last one is hoodies again some are in the wash that's why i've only got three there's normally like five hoodies but they do fit kind of nicely and they look kind of organized they're all great they match and also there's a little gap at the end of my bed which has two suitcases or something like that there my camera is literally about to die so i need to be quite quick and show you this but this is literally my favorite part of my room and it's my bed as you can see it's very pink so i've got pink throws i actually have two and then i've got my pandas which are my teddy bears don't judge me i have this really cute cushion which says namaste in bed then i've got two pink cushions my normal pillows and my bed quilt which is it's like teddy bear material like it's so nice and so fluffy and warm it's actually beautiful this is my like pin board behind my bed i'm so happy with how i've de decorated it so this is like pink sparkly like cling filmish kind of thing i don't really know how to describe it and then in big letters i've got smile i love it i'm obsessed with it and then either side so like here and here i've got these like rose rose thingies and up here and down there I have loads of Polaroid photos. Again, I'm speaking really fast because my camera is literally about to die. And then over here, I've got some more storage in these really cute trunks. I actually don't have much in them at the minute. Like this one's gonna be like sponsored things or like brand deal stuff. And there's only one thing in there, so not too much going on. And then down here, I've got three little minky bins. And they basically have things like medicine or like contact lenses, like that kind of like essentials in them. It's 
So I'm ending this video on my phone because unprofessionality is my passion and my camera just died. So yeah, I'm sorry I'm ending it on my phone. I would charge my camera and finish, but my room is not gonna stay this tidy. I'm like trying so hard to keep it tidy, but it's not gonna stay this tidy and I want it to at least be tidy while I do the outro. And I also don't wanna wait for my camera to charge because my flatmates are all like chilling right now and I wanna chill with them. Um, but this is my room. I will try and get like a clip or two of the kitchen to show you, but I don't wanna like invade anyone's privacy. So yeah, but this is, this is my room. I hope you like it. You're probably gonna see it a lot more in future videos. So I hope you do like it and hopefully you like what I've done with it. And if you're going to university next year or the year after or the year after or the year after, then hopefully this will show you like you can make your room cute and homely. Cause I was really worried it wouldn't feel homely, but it does feel really nice because I've made it so like snuggly and so many photos and stuff like that. It really works. But guys, if you enjoyed this video and you have not already, then please subscribe with the big red subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. We are so close to reaching my goal of half a million subscribers. <laughs> Literally crazy to even say that, but yeah, make sure you're subscribed so we can reach our really cool goal. Also give this video a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 6,000 thumbs up. It's kind of a challenge, but I know we can do it. And also if you want to stay up to date with me and what I'm up to, then feel free to follow me on all my social media accounts, which will be linked down in the description box below and i guess the only thing i have left to say is i love you a lot and i'll see you in my next video bye guys